Hello. Hello. Oh, what? No, good morning. Good morning. Hello, good morning. And good night. And good this day. This is about our 100th time filming the intro. This time it's good afternoon. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome back to AXO Schools. And not everything is that well put together because we do take a few outtakes every now and then. Yeah. So yesterday, though, we learned all about DNA. So if you didn't catch that video, you might want to watch it before you dive into our activity for today because it will help to make this make a lot more sense. Today, we're going to identify monsters based on their DNA code. But let's review a few things before we get started. Ooh, monsters, I'm excited for that. Nucleotides are the things that make up DNA. Bases are the nucleotides, just another name for them. And they are represented by four letters, C, A, T, and G. The C stands for cytosine, the A for adenine, the T for thymine, and the G for guanine. But we're not gonna be using our base pairs today. We are going to be using codons though. Yep, and a codon is a sequence of three nucleotides that form a unit of genetic code in a DNA molecule. Remember yesterday when I gave the baking example? Well, the DNA code acts like a recipe. It holds all of the instructions that tell our bodies how to develop and function. Or you could think of DNA acting as a sort of computer program. The cell is the computer or the hard drive, and the DNA is the program or the code. Mm -hmm. DNA contains every instruction that an organism needs to develop, live, and reproduce. Those instructions are in each cell and are passed down from parents to children. Three nucleotides pair up and make a codon. Each, each codon will give a specific instruction. Uh, so like ACT or CAT, it's just variations of the letters I gave you earlier. Were you trying to be crafty and spell different words like ass no. and cat? Maybe. <laughs> Karosh is right though. ACT and CAT are both codons because they have three nucleotide bases together. So we, if we have the DNA sequence that is G, G, C, T, T, A, T, A, C, G, T, A, C, G, C, what are the three codon pairs, Karosh? Well, you just paired every group of three together. Starting at the beginning, you said G, G, C are paired together. Uh, what was after that? It was hard to follow, but I think you said T, T, A yep. are paired together. And the next uh, three were T, A, C. T, A, C were paired together. G, T, A were paired together. And I don't think that was no accident. <laughs> <laughs> and C, G, C are paired together. You got it. That was impressive. Now, that brings us to our activity for today, where each of us are going to be making different monsters using a coding system. Oh, sorry. We previously made a prediction as, what, as to what our monsters would look like. Everyone put up their backgrounds for what they think their monster will end up looking like. So we really have no idea what our monster will look like. So we just like picked random backgrounds and hoped we get our monster spot on. Sorry, I have a thing over my, okay. This is Jeffrey. This is Perk. Wait, there. Jeffrey. That's Jeffrey. Look at him. This is Perk. His all name right. is Perk. So we all have our guesses now. Madonna, you want to tell us what we're going to do? Yes. We haven't done this before, so we have no idea what each of us are going to come up with. Um, each of us have um, a different monster to figure out, uh, figure out, and link below uh, our six mon monsters. You should uh, do one too. All right, so I'm gonna share with us our decoder. And if you check out the links below, we are actually going to do monster number one, which is Mandy, monster number two, which is Karosh, and monster number four, which is Mandana, and then I'm gonna do monster number seven. So we've each thought about what are some of the characteristics that our monster could have, but I'm gonna share with you what the decoder looks like so that each one of us can do our decoding. 
All right. So, Karosh, will you please show us your monster code? Yes. So, my monster code is this one is actually, I'm going to take off my monster background just so I can show you this better right now. Good idea. Uh, like that. So, if I show you my monster code, what happens is you have a sequence like two yellows, one green. So what you would do is on that screen share Danielle has showed you, you would find two yellows and one green. So where's two yellows, one green? Right there, capital B. So right in this blank spot right here, I would write capital B. And I'd go through and write every single letter and then corresponding first to first down here, I would write each word and then make the sentence or phrase or whatever your thing will be. And it's gonna probably explain what your monster looks like. And, and you can see if your photo that you randomly selected match what your monster looked like. Hopefully, if we can get all of our codons correct. Right, Mondana? You're muted. Sorry. <laughs> we are going um, to go through all of the codons and decode things about our monsters. All right, here we go. Everybody get started on your monster. If you need any help, let us know. Just to keep in mind, guys, each of these three dots represents a codon. And you can see that we have four colors. We have blue, red, yellow, and green. And those are representative of our nucleotides, even though we haven't... Um, we don't have those named here on our color coding. So this is just a fun exercise to practice decoding. So let's see what we come up with. All right, I'm doing number seven, my friends. All right, sounds good. Good luck. Maybe when you come up with a word. Yeah, my first to... word, I just got it, it's blue. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> maybe yours kind of looks like mine. Karosh, you have a purple one behind you. Um. Maybe it's a blue feet. You don't see his feet. That could be true. My Maybe first word is shaggy. Ooh. Oh, your guy doesn't look shaggy. Karoshis does, though. Yeah, and Mondana's too. Mondana's too. My first word is orange. I don't really think that this guy is orange. I think he's more kind of red. Red but... orange. <laughs> Uh, if only I had Danielle's sheet. There was a different monster I had that was orange that I wanted to do. <laughs> it was actually a hint to an anime I watch. Hmm. Oh, guys, I got a number. Number two. Number two. Oh, maybe two faces. Who knows? Let's two see. eyes. Oh. Ooh, your guy has multiple eyes. He does. My guy has three, unfortunately. <laughs> Can't find yellow, green, green. Yellow, Yellow, green, green, right here at the bottom. Yeah, that's why I saw it. Two. Spiky. <laughs> what? The, mine's not spiky. Actually, the per, the orange person that I had before was. My first spiky. word is green. Nice. Hey. Nice. Look at the color of your monster too. Oh. <gasps> that's pretty good. <laughs> that's good. Okay. Wait, I have two capital letters in a row. Oh, no, I don't. I messed that up. <laughs> Good thing okay. your DNA coding systems fixed your error. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was a little confused. I had S and then capital G next to... Uh, uh, no, capital H and then capital G. Like, hugga. Another two. Next word is purple. Uh-oh, I'm... This doesn't describe my guy. <laughs> yeah, but you, uh, yeah, you're describing Mandy purple. has mine. Well, shaggy purple. That's true. Um, where's found it? <laughs> I didn't even tell you. I just said where is. Oh, I think I have Harry. I literally have Karoshes, I think. Because <laughs> I think my next one is, is uh, furry. You know what's going to be good is that 
we'll see if we match any of the monsters that are even on the screen by the descriptions because we had no idea what these Seven. Look yeah. Like. My second word is scally. I, I don't know. Scaly? Wait, scaly. just double check for me. Red, it's blue, S yellow -A -L -Y. is seven. Is red, blue, yellow seven? Yeah, I see seven. Mine just says blue, spiky, hair seven. Ooh. Seven something, I guess. Mm -hmm. You're going well, faster than me. Cut off, like, why doesn't it say hairy? It just says hair. Because you, you have blue, spiky hair. Oh, it's the scented. I just thought it was naming random, like, Green. things about a monster. It looks like it is telling different, we're coding for different characteristics that our monsters have. So just like people, you, there are a lot of things that are genetic that get passed along. Eye color, hair color, skin tone, all of these things. So this looks like the DNA code that we're decoding for our monsters. Height. You have the word pink. There's nothing on my monster that's pink. Wait, this doesn't even seem like a word. I think I went wrong here. <laughs> <laughs> then backtrack to the that, last That happened to me back. too. I was trying to get a capital E and it was, um, uh, I kept putting in a capital M and then it did not make any sense. My monster has no skin. It has fur. Oh, I think he's about to have pink ears. Mandy, do you need some help? Um, it, I've so far got furled, furled. That doesn't seem right. <laughs> oh, no, wait. I think he has pink eyes, maybe. Who knows? I don't oh, know. Oh, Mandy, I think that, do you have a, um... Oh, I think it's one. one. Yeah, I have a red, red, green. Is that a number one? That, this is a number one, yeah. Okay, so that, that was first. Yeah, yeah. This is the L over here. Uh, <laughs> I see, okay. Green, green, red. Thank you. Danielle, I just finished deciphering another line. I have seven pink eyes. <laughs> well, none of our monsters have pink eyes. Nope. Seven pink eyes. Nope. That's a lot of eyes. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Furled. <laughs> I know. I was like, I've got furled. <laughs> Is that a new sort of adaptation? I was like, huh. I got big. And instead, uh, while we're doing this, maybe you could make one quick word. Instead of uncoding, you should make one word and then have your friend uncode it or your mom uncode it. Ooh. Actually, don't have your friend uncode it right now, unless if you send it over text. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, stay safe out there. <laughs> Apparently, my monster has a bump. I had the letter capital Y, and I just drew a lowercase o. What? I, I don't understand my <laughs> Wait, why is it a lowercase one? I got Ooh, one. Now I have big, big something. I have big something too. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think it's big yellow. I have huge. That's what mine says. Not big. Huge. Wow. Okay. First I got a lowercase y and then an uppercase t. A uh, lowercase y. Okay, where are you? Let's see. <laughs> um, confusion. Okay, let me see. So your lowercase y was yellow, yellow, green, green, Mondana? Uh, yellow, green, green. No, mine was, oh, whoops. Okay. <laughs> and that's enough. Thank you. Okay, easy to do. Thank you for those DNA mechanisms that allow us to go back and look at our code to make sure everything is coding correctly, right? Yeah. I have a big yellow. Wait, no, I'm correct. I'm almost done. I have five more spots left. It is yellow, green, green. Wait, then why is it a lowercase y? And then okay, and then no, you said, no. what's the next one? Uppercase T. Uppercase. What's the color code? 
Uh, green, blue, yellow. Okay, well, maybe the Y goes to the end of the word and the uppercase T starts a new word. Yeah. Nope, it's all in one. No, I, I know, but like down below. What are the words okay, that you I have finished. Come up? I have a. No, nope, don't a, tell us yet. Don't tell us yet. Wait till we're all done. You literally heard me say everything except for the last thing. Well, the last word. We want you to read the whole description together when we're when we can focus on you. Oh, okay. I think. I'll just start yeah. while I'm waiting. I'll just start writing it into those like bottom spot, uh, slots. Perfect. I'm almost done too. I. It's taking me a little bit. Oh yeah, I got it. Okay, I got it now. Kind of takes a lot of concentration. It does. <laughs> yeah, you just keep on repeating to yourself: blue, yellow, yellow, green, red, red, green, blue, mm -hmm. blue, yellow, yellow, green, purple. Okay, so mine is bumpy and has a tail. <laughs> mm. All right, keep going. Oh, I get it. So on the bottom, each line is for a different aspect about your monster. Oh, cool. That's so how many lines do you have, Danielle? Does everyone have three? I have two. I have three. I have oh. a two. Wait, it might be two eyes. Mine has two eyes. It might be two eyes. It's not going to say two eyes because two it, eyes. It, is it, might, it might say two eyes. You never know. Mm, but I kind of do. I'm just joking. I just have all knowledge. I'm all knowing. And now I bet you don't believe me that I'm all knowing, but I can prove it to you. Danielle, right now you're thinking about pink frogs, aren't you? Uh, now you are. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I just finished up. Okay, then while we're waiting, just start writing it on the bottom area. Okay. Okay, mine has gone wrong big time. All right, how can we help you, Mandy? <laughs> I have EE2G. That doesn't make any sense. You, you have EE2G. Well, how about you just start where you think you, it might be a mistake, and then we'll help you find the codes. Karosh, okay. help, help us find these. Yeah, I have one word left to write, which is the word that okay. you don't know. E, 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 two G. Two red is what the one I got. Okay, I'm going to give you a little sneak peek of my sentence. Oh, you can't see it because it's a sneak peek. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, okay. Yellow. Green. Okay, so, uh, Mandy. Hold on. <laughs> oh my gosh, I know, I know. It's too red. It's in my, my uh, focus, which apparently is a very... While I'm at it, I have another copy of Monday in the sheet. I could just, like, decipher hers while she's at it. I'm just joking. No, she's got a way head start on you. Monday, how many lines do you have at the bottom of your page? Is it just, like, three lines like everyone? What? Never mind. So, Danielle, you have three lines? Uh, yeah, I have three. Mandy, do you have three lines? I knew it. I knew it. I yeah. knew it. It's uh, eyes. It's yeah. eyes. It's eyes. It's eyes. Nice. It's Wait, two eyes. It's, it's two, two eyes. eyes. Really? Why yeah. would it be two eyes? I have seven pink eyes. <laughs> you have seven pink eyes. I knew it. I knew it. It's two red eyes. What happened? Nice. Yeah. Ooh, Danielle, I have a good idea. Maybe we should try and start the next episode dressed as whatever creature we've revealed. <laughs> that would be funny. With blue spikes. Oh, wait. Actually, no. I can't, I can't reveal my monster. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I've already said that. About the only thing I could do for mine is this. What's yours? You'll find out. Is that a cute? Uh, I was trying to. <laughs> what do you what do you think these are? Oh. Okay, I've got mine. Crush, what are these? Those are eyes. Big eyes. Big eyes ears. Big ears. 
That's about all I can do to dress up. You're trying okay. this mine. I had to use some context clues. I'm gonna be honest about that. Spiky <laughs> hair. Yep. Okay. Um. Oh. How am I supposed right. to get this across? Yellow, blue, red is G. <laughs> okay, apparently my monster's long. Here, here, here. Watch, Danielle. This is how I'll get it across. <laughs> that was good. I know what it is, but I'm not going to give it away. What? What is it? Do you really know what it is? Seven eyes. My monster is like a hybrid of Karosh and Mondana's. <laughs> oh, wow. That's pretty good, actually. Mm -hmm. Green, green, red, green, green. I bet Mondana's almost done. I am almost done. Nice. nice. Yeah, that was really interesting, a test of focus. Like, I really had to focus in on my screen, and I kept losing track. I, I think it's better if it's printed. So yeah. for those of you at home doing this, red, blue, maybe print it. <laughs> yeah, and it's amazing how much focus it takes us as human beings, but really think about the DNA inside of our body and the mechanisms that each of our cells have to yeah. be able to read this kind of program to tell it what to do. Isn't yeah. that unbelievable? Crazy. It's crazy. Yellow, yellow, red. Yellow, yellow, red. Wait, what? Right here. No, 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 but I know, I know, but I did all of my colors here, mm -hmm. but there are extra lines at the end. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, how many lines do you have? Um. Uh, so all of those no 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 like i mean like like one line two line three line oh i have four okay so just like fill it in so like my first words oh my god i have to take off my monster background again i have to take off mine to show you I think uh, my first word's blue as you can see right here right yeah so what I did is I filled it in on the bottom with my first word being blue. I know. Oh, I thought you asked what are, what are those lines for? No, I know what the, look. I, I need to, just, just, just. Show us. <laughs> Let me That's just, good though that you shared that with us, Karush, because some people are mine looks like. confused by that. Mm-hmm. Mine oh, has yeah. extra lines at the bottom. Oh. oh. And then I filled in all of them though. Uh, I wouldn't worry about it. That yeah. would be an error on someone else's part. All yeah. right. Karosh, can you share with us, no, please? No, no, no. I'll be the big reveal at the end. All okay. right. Mandana, can you share with us, please, about your monster and its characteristics? Yes. Okay, so my monster is green. He's scaly. He has skin. He's bumpy. He has a tail, he has two red eyes, and he has long claws. Oh, some of those were right. On, on with your guess. <laughs> your monster was green. Yeah. And kind of bumpy. <laughs> nice. All right, Mandy, you're up. All right, so mine is, uh, it has shaggy purple fur, so yeah. kind of like Karosh's one big yellow eye and two green horns so that's why i said it's like a hybrid of karosh and mandana's kind of yeah. but yellow eyes mine i guess kind of have yellow eyes yeah Actually, Danielle, i want to hear yours last you can be the big reveal okay okay <laughs> because no one's actually really heard any of yours your parts that's except right. for the, since you gave me big eyes big ears okay mine uh is blue spiky hair Okay. Seven pink eyes hmm. and big yellow teeth. <laughs> I love that it talks about the teeth. That's pretty funny. That's funny. That's gross. Seven right. pink eyes. Danielle, your big reveal. Here's yeah. mine. Mine has orange fur, two bat wings. Oh. What? Um, two huge eyes and ears. 
That's cool. Yeah, so bat wings. All right, guys, so let's talk about our monsters a little bit and the process of how um, we did this and what we did. Mm -hmm. So questions about this. How does this relate back to all of those habitats we just talked about? What kind of adaptations do our monsters have that could help them survive in their monster world? Ideas? Um, maybe the seven pink eyes uh, maybe go all around the face so yeah. you can see in all directions. Ooh. And and two on the kneecaps so there's no sneak attacks. I that love that. With so the Mark's eyes like protecting head. itself from predators. And the blue spiky <laughs> hair could be used as horns and you could just be using like a bunch and bunch of hair gel so it's like as sharp as a sword. Kind of like rocks. a porcupine. I think that, that the yellow teeth could make sure that no one ever wants to get close to him because it's disgusting and he scares everyone away who would want to eat him. Like okay. Shrek. All right, Mama, what think, did you have? So I think that the, the greenness does nothing. Stingily, <laughs> he can use his scales. <laughs> his scales are like gross and nobody wants to get near him. Um, being bumpy can mean like... Yes, Danielle. Yes, Danielle. Mandana, what about if the whole world is green? How could green be an adaptation? Yeah. For yeah. Camouflage. But, Camouflage. And then the long claws. Camouflage. Long claws. Very nice. Help destroy. <laughs> and then his two red eyes can like make it so that people are scared of him because like red eyes are creepy. Yeah. Ooh. So I've got a question um, also along those lines. So Mandana, you said that yours has scales, right? Yes. So based on the scales and green fur and that sort of thing, what type of capabilities or what do you think that indicates where water. that water right maybe he can swim Ooh. which would be he an adaptation Karosh what about yours are there any clues as to what type of habitat yours might live in another planet for sure another planet for sure I think mine would live somewhere I'll take that back around because it has bat wings. True. Has to fly. Mm -hmm. what I you take saying? that back. It lives in Area 51. Definitely. Hey, Danielle, I think yours would live on a cloud. Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. a, a dragon or a monster um, home. Up a magical yeah. cloud that you could never fall through because that's what you would do with normal clouds. But it's a magical <laughs> cloud. So you I think I have a through. theory, okay? Hear me okay. out. What's your theory? This Correct. guy, technically his homeland is two separate planets because his parents are two weirdo aliens who were captured and put into Area 51 and then human testing forced them to breed and make this hybrid. So his home is technically Area 51. Oh, okay. Very well, so like maybe, maybe it's a species with... Uh, seven pink eyes and a species with blue spiky hair and then it, it, like a side effect was just big yellow teeth. <laughs> That's right and I think that mine when it's two huge eyes and ears I think that those are just adaptations to help the monster either see um, maybe it's food source uh, or hear predators coming up behind him. So who had the closest representation to their monster in the background or to someone else's monster do you think not mine mine I is nothing like that mandy's was very close to kudosh's yeah mandy's like the purple shaggy hair literally perfectly describes that <laughs> yeah i think yeah. you got that mandy so now that we know about all of our monsters and we also understand how codons work we're gonna do an activity tomorrow and create an origami DNA double helix. And this is where our bases 
will become important and our we will use our nucleotides and stuff like that. Does anyone have anything to add before we go? Yes. I'm the origami king. Thank goodness, because <laughs> we might need your help tomorrow. What's up, Mandana? I think my monster is the cutest. It's Jeffrey. It's very cute. It is really cute. All right, guys, we'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye. Bye.